It is not possible to deliver a people economically without having a proud cultural identity. Apart from praising the mighty and asking them to be nice, let us also start thinking about encouraging ourselves that it's a competitive. And we have so many things about Kenya, about the Luya community, about the Lukusu uh, ethnicity, about Africanicity to be proud about and to showcase to the world. And that is why we must invest in this. Na hata muziki wetu, Lukusu music, Luya music is beautiful music, absolutely beautiful music. Music ambayo imeguniwa na wasani wetu kutoka hapa nyumbani ni music speciality zaidi. Today one of the biggest hit across this country that has even gone international is, uh, is, 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 is the great Luya hit Vida. Anytime you put Vida on whether it is in a club in Nairobi or in New York, everybody goes wild and the ghost the, the, the gaga. That tells you the beauty of our music. Omurende, wafike kule watumuize watu wa makani. Ili utamadunu wetu udihirike waziwazi, na tudihirishia ulimungumzima, ya kumba tutajivunia utamadunu wetu. So, my brother governor, I am here just to endorse the work that your government is doing here, and to assure you, that the national government will work hand in glove with the county government as our constitution expects to elevate our culture and to elevate sports and to make sure that our young people are given an opportunity to earn a decent livelihood doing what they enjoy doing. Hata kwenye michezo, gavana na furaye kukutangazia hapa nikiwa hapa kaunti ya kungomba that the High Altitude Training Center in Mount Elgon, we will fully support it to become a full-fledged academy that can attract people who want to train at high altitude. And it's not just Kenyans. We are marketing high altitude training as one of those attractions, Vivutio Yakuleta Matali Hapa Kenya. And so we expect people seeking hardship training from Europe, from America, from Asia to come to Kenya. And your hardship training center in Mount Elgon is among the targets to be developed for that purpose. But in Kimila, the kids are in. Lazima to Zulatia, Kimila Yetu, to Fonisha Wadoroetu, Kimila Yetu, Naile, the story, Skuli Kuanai. Sio tulikuwa shuleni ukua kama ukekutana na mtu ambaye hapo miaka ya Afrika ya baba yako alikuwa baba yako. Na hata ulikuwa kukua kwa chapo kwa soko kufanya makosa kwa hata kwa nyumbani kuzema ni chapo kwa soko kwa kongeza kwa kongeza. So nazima tuweshibiani. Ulikuwa ukikia kwa matatu, ukipata muzee, mtu ambaye wei ni mtoto, wei umeketi, unasimama muzee anakaki. So we must go back to our culture, that is where it matters most. That's what identifies us as a community. Kijana ya miaka 25 hawajui mila na maana yenye wazee wa zamani walikuwa nasema hii usifanye hii ufanye. Wazee sasa hii ukiona nyumba nyingi zinapotea sababu vijana wamesahau ile wazee walikuwa nasema mlango ile imefunguliwa hiyo yangu ile yenye imefungwa hiyo si ya. Lakini vijana wanaenda mlango imefungwa wanafisha wanafisha kabisa walishia ndani. Kwa hivyo hii cultural kisiku ni mambo ya muhimu sana. Tunasema we have to go back to our roots. Tuhudi kwa mzizi mala wangu kwa mkono. Nini ambayo inafraisha jamii ambayo wazee wa zamani walikuwa wanasema ni mzuri. Nini ambayo wazee wa zamani walikuwa wanasema ni mbaya. Kwa hivyo hiyo ni ya mzizi.